What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson and today we're going to be discussing the price of Bitcoin. I haven't done a video in about a week. I took some time off for the holidays, but now I'm back and there has been a lot of interesting action. Though nothing really out of the ordinary, we actually predicted most of the moves that we've seen recently on this channel in that last video. So before we get started, definitely smash the like button and also subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. So looking at Bitcoin on the daily chart, we can see that we just recently got a nice bounce off of this upward sloping trend line. This is a perfect upward sloping channel. This is an extremely good constructive bullish market structure, right? This is looking really, really good for the bulls. And there hasn't really been much of a reason for me to make a video in, re in the past week because we pretty much predicted exactly what happened in the market uh, just in this area right here. We talked about a move down to the trend line and then a bounce. Let's play the clip. We are still above the upward sloping trend line. We could come down as low as, you know, 53 and a half thousand, 53,000 or so, and still be in a good constructive, um, you know, market structure, right? So you can see that we got that move down to the trend line and now we're bouncing. And what's interesting is that the current zone that we're in here is almost like a fractal of the previous low back in September when we created this higher low along the 128 day SMA, this yellow line. We're in a very similar position where once we get above the blue 21 day EMA, that's when things really get bullish. Now we're currently below it, right? So we haven't really confirmed a breakout. We confirmed a nice possible bottom along a trend line with confluence. So I'm very confident to say that this is the bottom, right? That we have hit the bottom of this run and we're likely going to get some major moves to the upside in the following few weeks. And the way that we can confirm that we're gonna see some major moves up is a move above that blue 21 day EMA. And that could happen possibly in the next day or two. If we get a breakout above the 21 day EMA, I'm expecting actually a move to new all time highs for Bitcoin. And this could mean that we see a continued, and this could mean that we look to punch up consolidate, and then break out to new all-time highs before the end of the year. Uh, we may spend most of December moving up and sideways, but I think by the end of the year, we'll probably see a major all-time high break moving into 2022. And also guys, definitely follow me on Twitter as well. On November 20th, I posted this chart discussing my expectations for the market. So if you guys aren't catching all of my YouTube videos, well, at least follow me on Twitter and maybe you'll catch some of my predictions there. Now, in the last video I made a week ago, I also discussed the DXY, the US dollar index, being a possible signal for the next major move up, that if the US dollar index sees a top signal, then Bitcoin might become bullish again. And we actually did see some major rejection here for the US dollar index. And upon that rejection for the US dollar index, not only did the stock market bounce back, but also Bitcoin bounce back. So if we see continuation to the downside for the US dollar index, I think that going into 2022, we're gonna have an extremely bullish environment. So look for continued moves down for the US dollar index. And I think that that's when we're gonna be seeing Bitcoin move up to those six figure levels. And I also wanna follow up on one of my biggest predictions of the entire year so far, which was back in June, I was calling for three peaks in a domed house when we were trading down here in the basement. And so far we are following this pattern. Now this image is old. I posted this one on uh, November 1st, though we are still forming that first floor, right? If you're looking to the top left, the three peaks, uh, we usually form the first floor along those previous three peaks, right? So currently we're still in that first floor range for Bitcoin. Going back to Bitcoin, we can see that here, those previous three peaks, we're currently forming that first floor along the previous three peaks. So we're still in consolidation mode, right? We're still in sideways. And upon the next major all-time high break, which I think is coming before the end of December, that's when we're gonna be exiting the first floor and looking for a major move into the six figure level for Bitcoin. And if you're following this model, if you're following this schematic, the break above the first floor sends us to the roof. And for Bitcoin, this could mean much, much higher prices, right? If we're looking at the long-term upward sloping channel, all previous cycles ended at the top of this channel, right? over here for Bitcoin moving up to the 20K level in 2017. And now we're at this point where we're still below the mid channel line, 
right? We still have another area of growth to go to follow the traditional Bitcoin cycles. So it's very likely that Bitcoin is going to be hitting at least 124 to 180,000 and then possibly as, as high as 200 to 250,000 before the bear market begins, right? But we'll have to assess things as they move along. There's a lot of variables right now that are still up in the air, including inflation, stock market performance, but I do expect prices above 100K coming in the next couple months. The final run of the bull markets for the 2013 run and the 2017 run, after we get above that blue, mid channel line, the heart line of the channel. In 2013, it only took one, two, three, four weeks to hit the top. Four weeks after breaking the midline. In 2017, it took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 weeks about. So that was about three months above the midline. So theoretically, once we get above the midline of this channel, we have anywhere from one to three months, I would say, for Bitcoin to hit a major six figure target. Right. So that means that most likely by March of next year, March 2022, is when we would see a possible top come in. Somewhere in the first three months of 2022 is when I expect us to find a major top, a major six figure target, and then a major pullback. Right. So keep all that in mind. Now, before we end this video, I also want to mention that uh, one of my favorite altcoins, um, KuCoin token, looks like it's about to break out into another all-time high. KCS KuCoin, I think, is going to be a top 25 coin in the next uh, few months, actually. Um, this is very similar to Binance early on. KuCoin is pretty much one of the hottest exchanges for altcoin listings. And there's so many variables, so many factors playing into KuCoin right now that resemble Binance and BNB early on. When Binance was at the same market cap as KuCoin is now, the price of the BNB token was roughly $20 and has since gone up to 624. Now, I'm not saying that it's gonna do exactly the same thing, but I just wanna tell you guys that I think that KuCoin KCS is gonna be one of the top performing coins. It's one of the best secure investments in the crypto market right now, in my opinion. I think that we're gonna see this going into the hundreds. 100 to $200 KuCoin token is very likely, in my opinion. And, and looking at the chart right now, we are currently testing this all-time high range, and I think that the growth is just about to begin. I see this as a $10 billion token, right? So this is easily a 5X in my opinion. And all of the people in my Patreon know that I've been very big on this pick as an altcoin pick. And we've been we've been accumulating it all throughout this range, you know, at the $10 level or even lower. Um, and now it's at 25, but I do expect hundreds, a hundred to $200 price tag for the KCS token moving forward. So just want to give that alt pick out there so that, you know, after it moons, you know, you guys can't say that I didn't warn you well in advance. Now, once again, just to recap, we're looking at the 21 day EMA as our major breakout uh, signal for Bitcoin. Once we get above the blue 21 day EMA, then I'm looking for a major move up to the highs, a consolidation, and then a breakout to new all time highs before the end of this year, right? And this could come in the next couple of days, this signal that I'm looking for. But that's it for me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.